And what's interesting about some of the, the, the guys that are the real architects of hardcore, like Ian and, and John and even like someone like Mike Watt or those, those guys were like passionate about classic rock. I mean, if you talk to any of them, I mean, they'll tell you they loved rock, loved it. But when the 80s hit, like they knew that they needed to go to that smaller place. You know, they needed to condense it. And that was a real thing that was happening. And that is, it was something that we needed to c connect ourselves back to the source of music. And that's why hardcore is such a great term, because it's like, you're talking about getting down to the most basic, like, you know, molecular element of, of this music and this energy. And that's what fascinates me about meeting the older guys. The guys are like, you know, maybe five, 10 years older than me and, and how they embraced classic rock, you know. But then when it came time for them to make their own music, they went way in, like right inside, inside their brains, right into these little rooms, took the music and just cut it down to its most bare elements, you know. And that was, I think that was a really important thing to do. And it was important for me because I didn't. Yeah, we're all, but they don't shit for no 